Kind of feels like a while since I've done the last stand. I'm back from my holiday and um, I fancy getting into some No Man's Land. So just let's get to it. Dog is up for grabs. He's good. Uh, he's good support. Deceptively impressive. We've got some okay heroes here. And I think that this is the team that I'm going to go with. Negan is going to have the Civic Republic flag. Great for confusing walkers. It's got a bit of range. It can um, ensnare targets as well. Yumiko is coming along. I'm going to bring this, the Sunset Requiem. I'm just interested to see how it works in Last Stand. The fact that we can push enemies back is pretty great. And then Rufus is bringing the Scream Stick. I'm sure I must have used it in Last Stand at some point, but... Um, yeah, I, I just want to give it a go. I just want to have some fun here. This is the team that I want to use. So I'm going to use them. It's as simple as that. Outlaw Negan is a fantastic leader. He provides some massive damage boosts, especially to targets that um, are tough to kill. So the harder it is to kill... The more sort of effective his, his leadership trait really is. Looks like, I mean, we're going to have some commonwealths. We're going to have metalheads. You can see that we've got some speedies there. You know, not so, not so great trying to sort of deal with them. They can take you by surprise. At some point, we'll have to turtle up. But for now, I think we can just go take on the walkers at their own game. We've got a weapon here. Yumiko is using the Sunset Requiem, that's it. It sets targets alight, so we've got to be a little bit careful in one respect. That is, of course, the flaming targets will harm uh, uh, Negan if he's engaged in close combat. So we don't really want to be setting targets alight and then having Negan swiping away with them. Uh, it's it's potentially a bit of a problem, but I, I'm just going back to this being the team that I wanted to use. I just did want to use them, so that's that's why I'm using them. Hey, Io. Cat's come to join us, as she often does. Okay, and of course, what we do have, which is very nice, is that lovely new uh, decontaminate thing. Oh dear, I've, I've left... Yeah, I almost left everybody in a dangerous situation there. That speedy could have reached them. You are sopping wet, Io. The weather here is nothing like it was in Lanzarote. We can be very free and, uh, free and loose with our charge attacks. I've got lots and lots of different ways of getting them. Um, I bought Rufus instead of that uh, that civilian assault character that I could have had. And that's because Rufus is kind of good in Last Stand. Squirrel's Courage means that you can uh, quite easily rack up charge points with him. Every time the threat counter hits zero, he gets a charge point. And we've got, we've got ways of getting charge points as well, just from Negan's leadership trait, as well as those massive damage boosts. Again, he's a great hero. He really is. Should we confuse the enemies, there's always a chance that they will attack their fellow walkers. If I don't have to, I'm not going to strike them with Negan. Uh, just because, obviously, he will eventually start taking damage. At the moment, it, I mean, it's only a small amount of damage. But as the enemies get tougher, the relative damage that he will take from attacking an enemy that's on fire will increase. Let's, let's kill those guys just for the sake of killing them. We can go here. We are out of range of that speedy. The other one is immobilized. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's do that.
Uh, he's confused. So he will not attack us no matter what. Great, let's do that. Rufus should have full charge points. It's just lovely. It is, it is just really, really nice knowing that every time that threat counter hits zero, you're going to get a charge point no matter what. I do like using him in last stand. Obviously, when you play on expert level, you have a limited roster of characters. Uh, sometimes people will say, well, you know, how come you didn't use this character or that character? And it's that's the reason. When you play on expert, it's tougher. And you don't have the full roster to select from. So I find it more fun. more targets that we can hit, the more chances we have of knock-knock kicking in. That gives us chances to get charge points, uh, massively increases damage. It does a lot of things. It's it's very good. There's, yeah, there's an entire dictionary of special rules that apply to it. You have to sort of read it over a couple of times to sort of really understand what it does. It's It's very effective, though. The extra damage that it causes is really, really going to be helpful as we get into the later levels. Mm, yeah. Again, absolutely no need to be stingy with our charge points. We can let them rip. Being able to stun enemies effectively is very, very nice. The fact that uh, this weapon is... Tell you what, let's just have the fun of watching this guy beat up that metalhead. Yeah, you get him. Barely caused any damage, but still. It's fun. Okay, uh, and you're going to go and attack that metal head over there. Go get him, cowboy. Bonus attacks on weapons is always a joy. Just being able to get more attacks than you should in any sort of situation is just it just feels great it's very effective um let's get ready for the new guys that are coming in oh cheeky sneaky speedy walker right there flipping at him um, yeah, let's make sure that we are getting them the most powerful attacks that we can. Okay, you're crippled, so that's fine. I think maybe what we can do is make sure that we get them. Make sure that you shoot when we shoot. Oh, no, we're slightly out of range. Yeah, come on, let's hit this tank with whatever we can. Knock, knock, kicking in again. Um... Yumiko, I would like for you to remain charged, especially since we're not in a particularly great position for this new bunch of walkers to come in. Oh, we've got another turn before they do. That's good. Go on, you get rid of him. Uh, yeah, Yumiko, you just stay fully charged. There's not 
ton of point in using the charge point there. Most important thing is that Rufus is charged as these guys come in. The Speedies. Horrible Walker variant, but um, they can be stunned. They can be stunned, they can be crippled, all of that good stuff. See all of that, those stacks of knock knock just racking up there. Yumiko gets all of her charge points back. Oh, you buggers. Good, push that guy back. Yep. That's what I was gambling on. Don't want to be gambling really on um, confused kicking in. But yeah, I mean, you can really get yourself out of some sticky situations if it does work in your favor. Okay, we know what to do here. Stun them and gun them. Confused overrides. Stun. And just killing stuff overrides everything. So uh, I want to be over this side. I want to be ready for these guys when they come in. So we'll just leave you to burn, sir. Yeah, we can do this. See if we can get these guys on fire, shall we? See if we can get you on fire. Good. When you slowed down, uh, should have moved Rufus first. Doesn't really matter. Hmm. Okay, just finish that guy off. Just let them come to us a bit. Might have to think about turtling up, about finding a corner, forming a nice defensive position, and just staying there as we wait for the waves of walkers to come to us. I think we've uh, I think we've reached that point. So let's pick this corner down here, bottom left. Okay, I like this formation. Of course, we're out of range of Rufus, but that's that's fine. The enemy's going to be coming to us. No doubt about that. Um, what the hell? Almost certainly guaranteed to get all of our charge points back. And the wonderful thing about Knock Knock is that your teammates can be attacking enemies and everyone gets a chance to get charge points. It's it's just, it's great. And it's, it's kind of like the more enemies that you don't kill right away, the more chances you have of, of getting them charge points. So it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's already used the charge attack. I know. Should have aimed that just one square farther back. Let's push that tank back. Let's get these guys out of the picture. Uh, 
I mean, already I, I think we've got quite a quite a decent score. I kind of like it when it's in the seven digits. Okay, yeah, get them fighting amongst themselves. Brill. Love the fact that we can get a charge attack. And then we can get a, uh, a regular attack in with Negan as well. Which is very nice. Yeah, knock knock, kicking in. Therefore Rufus is fully charged. Whole bundle of walkers right next to us there. But it doesn't, it doesn't really. Definitely need to make sure that you're gone. Um, see if we can get that tank on fire. Yep, good. We needed to slow him down as well, so I think that was the right, right choice there. I want Rufus to hit a bundle of targets. Good. Let's wait for the enemy to come to us. Great. I do like the Sunset Requiem's ability to just shove walkers back. That's proven to be very effective. Yeah, get him confused. We could rush over there and start taking the fight to the enemy, but uh, we risk losing our little defensive formation here, and it's important that we keep that. Score multiplier is going to go down because we're not killing a ton of walkers this turn, but that's okay. Yeah, let's just let's just let these guys get towards us, let them get into range. Gonna fire there. To, uh, to keep you guys at bay, to stun you guys. You can stay where you are as well. Sneaky speedy walkers. Flipping ate them. Go on Rufus, you get some hits in as well. I hate that I'm slightly out of position here. Just wanted to make sure that Rufus got some hits in. And there you go, I've paid for it because a tank has just appeared right there. Thankfully, he's confused. Right, let's stun all of these guys because otherwise they're gonna they're gonna get Rufus. Shove back, stun, whatever we need to do there. I would like that tank to be on fire. Good. Has everybody had a go? Yes. So that tank is right next to us. As long as he keeps getting confused, as long as he keeps attacking his buddies, we're okay. Though it is a big... If. Yeah, I think we need to hit those guys. Hit those guys. You are confused, aren't you? Yes. Try and get him on fire. Good. Okay, we've got a lot of stunnable walkers right here. It seems that that's a smart play. Good. Confused again. I need you really to be shoved back. Shoved back, crippled. Same sort of thing, essentially. Good. He's going to actually get out of our way. I 
Mm-hmm. Good. Excellent. Good round of shooting there, I would say. Let's just hit you with some good news. What are we at? Wave 29. Wave 40, of course, is when the elite walkers kick in. Is there anything that we urgently need to do? Let's do this. Let's try and hit all of those guys. Let's try and get them all on fire if we can. Negan uh, simply is not taking any harm from hitting these walkers that are on fire. Um... I would have thought it would have taken some hit, some damage, even if he has fireproof on the armor. Uh, I'm not complaining. Really not complaining. It makes things a lot easier if he doesn't. But uh, I don't quite understand why he's taking zero burning damage. Again, I'll take it. I think we need to make sure that we're KOing that metal head there. See if we can get them guys on fire, we can't. See if we can confuse you, we can. Oh, well, he died. How about you go back and get stunned? Excellent. Hit these guys, try and get them on fire. Nope. Uh, I think we can risk doing this. It's too far away to actually wind up attacking any other walkers, but... The more attacks that we are getting across the board, the more knock-knock kicks in the more damage increases we get. You just you just want to be landing as many hits as you possibly can, really. Whenever you have Negan as the leader, that's how you get the most out of his leadership trait. Okay, whole bundle of speedy walkers. Scary flipping things that they are. But of course, they can be stunned. Definitely takes away some of their potential. We don't want to accidentally shove this guy towards us, so let's just think about where we're hitting. Okay, you're crippled. You're not going to get to anyone this turn, but you are awfully close. I was hoping that we might be able to confuse that, uh, that walker with that hit. Didn't happen. I mean, that's, that's not a huge problem. Would have been nice if it had. Let's shove that tank back. Let's kill these guys. Okay, we've got a Commonwealth. That's, I think, worth noting. Dangerous any type, enemy type, of course, they are resistant status effects. The weaker they get, the more chance that the status effect will get through. But until you've caused a bit of damage, there's virtually no chance that they will get crippled, uh, set on fire. You know, so they are they are a bit of a problem, especially at this kind of uh, level when they're sort of level 61 or so. Gosh, it's pretty high. Might be able to turn some of the other walkers against it with Confuse. Be nice if we can. Let's just move Negan out of the way of that speedy walker at the top there. Um, no. Can't do that. He would be in range of the speedy. Yeah. 
Might find ourselves using Rufus's charge attack soon. Looks like we've got two more Commonwealth Walkers coming in next turn. That's a pretty scary proposition. Right, you sir need to be on fire, and how about we shove you back as well? Let's uh, let's get you on fire. I, that speedy being there, I don't know. I just I don't like it being there. I feel like it's going to be able to cause a nuisance somehow. First time that we've broken out the cookies. And it did F all. Okay. Two Commonwealth Walkers here, but we've got a stun shield here. They can't get to us. You, sir, however. Can we shove you back again? Nope. What else are you going to do, huh? Couple of speedies there who really could have caused us some problems. Let's get another cookie power charge attack in for what it's worth. Handily enough, that Commonwealth is stunned. And these guys are just distracted. Shove them back. I mean, that guy could potentially get... To Yumiko, let's, let's make it so that he doesn't. Okay, just stayed where he was, that's weird. What can we do? Can we stun any of those commonwealths? Good. I'm glad that he's on fire. We need to slow some of you chumps down, so we do that. think good still in range still in range of that tank good he's mobilized still got a regular attack there good everyone's charged yeah that was a dicey turn that last one I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that some stuff worked out for us there I think, yeah, I want everything there that can be stunned, stunned. Good. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen this turn. Oof. Missed that. Didn't realize that he was... Actually, technically within range of us, we uh, we didn't pay for that, but that was, that was a bit of an oversight there. Okay, let's see uh, what happens when we do this. Okay. Immobilized. Good. However, that is not the same thing as completely toothless. If we leave Negan right next to him... Um, at the start of next turn, he will, of course, kill Negan. That's presuming he doesn't burn to death, which he did. Okay. I don't want to take that risk, though. Okay, this is this is some scary stuff because of that. Because of that Commonwealth, we might well find ourselves lobbing out another, uh, another flare. Yeah, everyone there is stunned. That's great. Just, we, we will deal with that in a bit. Um, oh, I see you. Yeah, we are in range of that speedy. Let's, we're busting our, our formation a little bit, but... His problem. Sh 
shove it back. So yeah, he's still, I, th I think he might, uh, really concerned that he's going to get us. That's good, that works out for us. Uh, I, th I think I might have, have left some vulnerabilities here. Might have made a mistake here. Um, is Negan going to get got? Oof, no, good. Thought he was in some real danger there. Want to go nuts and attack your enemies? Nope. Sorry, attack your friends. Guess he doesn't. Good, crippled. Okay, I think we're all right. Let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Now, can we drive you crazy? Oh, we can. We can at least ensnare you. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, let's keep on hitting that uh, that Commonwealth for what it's worth. I would like to move Negan here, but that Commonwealth is not crippled, so we can't do that. Okay, nothing too scary for that uh, that set of reinforcements. Let's stun these chumps, including that Commonwealth. Good. See if we can get some of these guys on fire, shall we? I want you, uh, let's get you on fire, actually, shall we? I see you being a nuisance. If you ignite a target, the clock starts ticking. It can take a long time for a walker to burn to death, but you know that every single turn you are making some progress. And sometimes just tipping them over, getting that last little bit of damage uh, as and when you can just makes all of the difference. Good. He's immobilized. You guys are all stunned. You're still pretty healthy. I think that what we want to do... We don't know quite what's lurking around the corner as well, so let's just make sure that anything on this side to our east is uh, is stunned, immobilized, whatever we can do with it. That was maybe a mistake. I shouldn't really have shoved him closer to us. Try and get him cooking. Doesn't work. Still, I, I suppose he, he is now in this little circle here. We can stun this guy. I didn't mean shove him closer to us. It just, just did by accident. But uh, This guy doesn't seem to want to get confused. See if we can get some of these guys on fire. Good. Here come the Elite Walkers. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, they, of course, are much, much tougher. They can appear from anywhere in the map. Uh, the chances that we're going to get good stun shields is, is increased, actually. Um... Yeah, it, it, it's, it sounds funny, but in some ways it's actually easier to deal with the elite walkers than it is the regular walkers. Again, the fact that Negan is not taking any damage whatsoever um, from fiery enemies is great. The only thing I'm noting here is that uh, Confuse might actually be a problem. We might have 
some walkers that we want to stay situated because they're providing a stun shield and they might go wandering off and start attacking their buddies because they're confused and that could actually work against us. Um, so he's confused. He's not going to attack us. I don't think he can reach. Okay, so this is a problem. Can we do anything effective with it? Yeah, see, even cookie power charge attacks from the scream stick, they just they're causing a ton of damage, are they? What would be nice is if we could confuse him, if we could make him the victim of a confused walker. Anything like that that would make him just damn well stay uh, in place and not attack us. But uh, and we can do that, of course. That, but, but that is potentially buying us time, but... Don't want to move there because of this chap. In fact, he's not crippled. Worried about that tank. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I want to stun him. Let's make sure that's happening. Got to start trying to do something against this commonwealth. I'm thinking just hit him with everything that we've got. See what happens. So we've managed to shove him back. That's very good. Okay, Negan there was being attacked by a speedy. We never want to see that, of course, but speedies can easily be knocked. Of course, just stop their movement and they will let go. They will stop biting your heroes. Good, we managed to get him stunned. Uh, got another speedy there. For what it's worth, we could just try hitting him and see what happens. Yeah, cripple avoided, all of that stuff. Apologies if there was just a bit of a delay there. I got a call through. I've got do not disturb, but calls still get through. That was just a spam call. So yes, even if the number is is viewable, normally I would edit it so that's not there. That was that was literally just a spam call from a uh, slightly terrifying robotic voice. I think we. Uh, I think we have fewer rounds ahead of us than we do behind. Uh, let's see if we can... No, that's no good. I was hoping that we might have a chance of crippling him. He uh... He's probably going to reach Negan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're nearly... We're nearly 40 minutes in. Um, I have done... I've done last stands that have lasted two hours before. I think 40 minutes, I have I do have some stuff to do. I do want to hit the gym after my holiday and everything like that. So it's it's fine. I mean, could we have used some tools or something? Oh, well done, guys. You just shoved that flipping walker right towards you. Commonwealth, man. Stop! Oh my god. Stop knocking the walkers closer to you. It's not a good idea. Do love this pushback from the old uh, Sunset Requiem. That's, that's working pretty well, I'd say. Good. We got the old Commonwealth stunned there. That's, that's 
A nice unexpected treat. Who have we got who needs to be on fire? You guys, really? Oh. Let's try and shove that tank back. For what it's worth. Okay, uh, my two survivors here are uh, lasting lasting longer than I thought they they probably would. Rufus and Yumiko, bit of a dream team. Oh, I made a mistake. Should have aimed my charge attack there, um, and then we would have shoved this tank back. He's gonna get he's gonna get Yumiko. That's okay. I'm sure Yumiko doesn't see it that way, but this is this is you know nearly 42 minutes of, of full on uh, last stand action. My only regret is being killed by a Commonwealth. Let's see what rewards we get. Uh, yes, good old. Apocalyptic equipment pieces. Uh, some reinforcement tokens. Yeah, sure. 84 assault tokens. Two grenades. Two grenades. Cool. Take that. And then I think that's a good enough score. So how about... And of course, you get different rewards when you do this. Ten Jerry tokens. And I love that we can now do this, and that's it. My commitment to last stand is complete. I can concentrate more on Guild Wars, Weekly Challenge, you know, whatever. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video.